I love each and every one of you with the love of Christ. And to our visitors and our friends, to those that are saved, those that are unsaved, we still greet you this morning in the matchless name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus, the Christ. Is that all right this morning? You'll find me in a very familiar passage. I like old stuff. I'm an old schooler. I could very traditional and you'll find me in Psalms. The 20th division of Psalms, verses 7 through 8. It's on the projector for those who are still searching. It won't be long before you this morning, but we're going to let the Lord have His way. Once you've located, let's reverence the Lord. And scripture preference reading on this morning is the King James Version. I like the King James. And it reads as follows. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are bowed, brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Again, some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Yes. And verse 8 states, They are brought down and fallen. Glory. But glory. we are risen and stand upright. Let us pray. Oh, gracious and everlasting Father, yes, Lord God. We come before you boldly before your throne on today, Lord God. Asking you for pulpit strength, pulpit clarity, Lord God. Pulpit boldness, pulpit persuasion, Lord God. I lift up your people in this hour, Lord God, as I lift up myself, Lord God. Father God, I ask this morning that you hide me behind your cross. That the people don't look at me and see my cross, Lord God. The people don't look at me to hear me, Lord God, but they hear only you. I ask right now, Lord God, that we be on one accord. That everything that has exalted itself above you, that is unlike you, we cast it down in the in name of Jesus. Yes. And Lord God, we plead your blood right now. The blood from the crucified lamb upon your people, Lord God. We come up against distraction and hex and anything that is unlike you. Anything that has exalted itself. Any imagination. We pull it down in the name of Jesus. We plead your blood on the music department right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We plead your blood upon this equipment right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Upon your people right now. In the name of Jesus. Upon this word right now. In the name of Jesus. We ask you for all these many blessings. In your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And every heart can say. Amen. Hallelujah. May be seated in the name of our Lord. And Savior Jesus the Christ. And so this morning I'd like to start out by proposing a question, a very simple question that oftentimes I get asked. And so I thought that I would share with you because sooner or later I believe you'll be asked this question. How many believe today 
that they need to trust in Jesus. Amen. How many have been asked lately, why do you trust better when you're still going through what you're going through and it don't look right? Why do you still trust in Jesus? I would be remiss if I didn't say what the text says. The text says some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, mm -hmm. but we are risen uh -huh. and stand upright. Yes. And because of who he is, I'm going to preach on this morning on, from the subject trust and Jesus. All right. All right. This is a trusting time. This is a pressing time. This is a needing time. Look at the person next to you and say, neighbor, neighbor. the pastor, the pastor is, going to preach is going to preach from the subject, from the subject. trust, Trust in Jesus. Jesus. Turn around and look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, yes, neighbor. The, pastor the pastor is going to preach, is going to preach. from a subject, from a subject. Trust, trust in Jesus. Jesus. Come on and put your hands together. Amen. Don't put them together like you've already received. Yeah. Yeah. This is for Jesus. This might be your last time. It could be my last time. And I know what it means to trust in Jesus. It's not a time to play. This is a time of need. Somebody heard me when I said it's a time of need. Somebody pressed here because they just needed something. Sometimes they just need a little bit more Jesus. And so if I was you, I wouldn't be too proud not to stand to my feet and just bless them.
So yesterday I woke up, I went full of my best and I went to urgent care. I walked in and I walked out! And I just believe he wanted to pull me through. And so today I'm standing trust that I can run just like that. This ain't no plan, huh? Somebody needs to be saved right now. Somebody needs to be encouraged right now. Suicide, we send you back to hell. Just because I want something. Yeah. 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 Text. Let me take you back. We're at Psalms yeah. chapter 20, yeah. 
verses 7 and 8. We're going to bring it down. I know y'all ready to run like I'm ready to run. But I'm going to do what the Lord say do. I promise you we're going to get back there. The Lord has his way. We're going to let him have his way. Just put your hands together for me again. My brothers and sisters, in order for me to better have an understanding of two of the words out of this text, which are trust and risen, I had to conjure with our friend, your friend, my friend, Webster. Trust is defined as confiding in you, reliance on integrity. And the word risen means to go up, uh -huh. growing or ascending. Yes. But my brothers and sisters, as I took a closer look at the text, I noticed something <laughs> about King David that's very similar to me. He had gone through a lot of trials yes. and yes. tribulation. Am I by myself? Yes. He tried everything, oh, including giving a burnt offering, but somehow only until he realized those were not enough for Jesus. Yeah. Sound like some of us around here. He had given the Lord everything that he had. But somebody here know until you give the Lord yourself. Oh, I love the one accord today. I give myself away. Only until you give yourself wholeheartedly and submissively. Then and only then did the Lord create. That's it. Someone say create. Yeah. And David a clean heart. And he even went a step further. Look how God is. He extends yeah. his grace. And renewed a right spirit within him. Some of us on today found ourselves very much so like King David. Yes, we give the Lord other people's problems. Other people's scenarios. Other people's situations. Sometimes our car situation, our homes, our transportation. But we fail at one point. We give everything except ourselves. Why is it so hard to give God us? The word said he created us in his image and in his likeness. So if he loved us enough to create us, why can't we worship him? Why can't we every now and then bow before him? Why can't we just be obedient? Why is it so hard to give ourselves? Yes. We give ourselves to a lot of stuff. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. Some illegal stuff. Some lethal stuff. Some of your relationships are toxic. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. Am I by myself today? Somehow we fail to give God just you. Sometimes we just have to come and cry out before the Lord. Sometimes we got to run in the church and find ourselves before the altar. And people say, what's wrong with you? You don't have to tell them. That's right. That's right. Tell God. Because if they are intercessors and they're praying for you, they already know. Time telling people our Come stuff, you can say it. and little time telling God who oh, can fix it. How many know He's a fixer? Oh, he's a oh yes, He's an instantaneous type yeah, of God. Yeah, he will, he will. He'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah. And we tell it to people who's gonna do it against you. He yeah. already yeah. put you down, broke you down, oh, picked you up, healed you. Yeah. Talked about your scandalized to me. Why you all kind of mad at this stuff? They don't like you. They never loved you. They begin to talk about, oh, how I love you, Jesus. You don't even love me, baby. Say, I'm old school. Jeremiah 33 and 3 reminds us yeah. to call on God 
and it says, He will answer thee and show us great and mighty things, which we know it's not. So if he says that, why are we calling on mama them? Sister them? Or I'm going to go to Pookie them? We call on a whole lot of folks. That's a lot of energy. Have you ever spent time telling people your scenario? That's a whole lot of energy. Just to them and say, mm, girl, yeah, I knew it. I told you so. I can tell myself. I can stand in the mirror and I can just go out and practice. I can have a good conversation. Why do you tell people? Because then they're going to go out and tell somebody else. And y'all know the story ain't going to be right. The characters ain't going to be the characters you describe. They're going to add on to the folks. And by the time you get back to that person, that person ain't going to have no love for you. And so why can't we spend time telling Jesus? Yeah. That's a question on today. Why is it so hard to spend time with Jesus? But it's so easy to spend time with folks that don't like you. There it is. 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 In other words, let me make it clear. We serve an incredible God. Somebody needs to hear that again. We serve an incredible God, a miraculous God, a saving God, a cleansing God, a deliverance God, a way-making God, a departing God, a restoring God, a regenerating God, a renewing God. We serve an omnipotent God, an omnipresent God. We serve a God. Yeah. Yeah. Mighty to deliver. Yeah. So why don't you spend time with him? Yeah. Yeah. H-I-M, capital H-I-M. Spend time yeah. 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 to yeah. make your request yeah. known. Yeah. Yeah. Spend time with him. Yeah. And watch God. Yeah. Yeah. Watch him do it. Won't he do it? Watch the folks that come yeah. from you. Yeah. Won't he do it? Mm -hmm. huh. Try it. For yourself. Yes. Right. You've heard people give their testimony. Have your own testimony. You've been through your own test. Let God take your mess, M E S S, and let it be transitioned to your message, M E S S A G E. Get your own test and then tell your own testimony. Take your own mess and tell your own message. My sisters, although God command begins, it is based upon two very simple realities on today. First, the person that is admitting admits that they have limitations. This is implied by saying mighty things which you do not know. When Jeremiah penned this God-given promise, he was still confined. Yes. In the court of the guard. Yes. Uh -huh. Have you ever noticed folks write when they're in jail? Uh -huh. Oh, yes, they do. They call when they're in jail. Yes. Tell me about Jesus. They wrote up a lot of bills when they're in jail. But when they get them. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I'm going to leave that go back to what Jeremiah said. I know I was a probation parole agent for eight years, so I know the bills. I know the process. I know the schemes. I know all that stuff. Yeah. <coughs> and so let's get back to what we need to do. What does the Lord say? All right. The Lord says Jeremiah is in prison and Jerusalem had just been conquered and Jerusalem was destroyed. Mm -hmm. How about that? A city destroyed. Yeah. The Lord will destroy a city. Yes. 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 This is the city of Madison. Now the Lord will destroy a city. Yes. He longed for restoration that had beyond his grasp. There's nothing that he could do, nothing Jeremiah could do or any of the Israelites to do anything about Israel or Judea. But God's words to them is, ask me. God speaks to us, ask me what you cannot do 
which implies the second reality. And I'm going to go there very quickly, but when was the last time the Lord prepared a miracle for you? Glory. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's miracle time. Yes. I see it on TV, but I don't need NBC, the Today Show, ABC, the Today It's miracles taking place right in front of us. Yes. And then I ask the question, how did he do it? Some people say, well, why did he do it? Because he's God. Yes, he is. All by himself. He don't need no help. He wants the glory all by himself. Yes. And so every now and then you should say, what was the last time the Lord prepared a miracle for me? Did I witness a miracle? Just saying. Secondly, the person praying is admitting that God is the answer to their needs. Come on, somebody. Somebody knows that the word recognizes our limitations. And it recognizes because it says, trust in me. Everybody know every now and then we've learned to trust in some other stuff. We're told that we should trust only in what mama them said. Mama was wrong. Because sometimes mama did what grandma them did. And sometimes they was wrong. But when we get before the Lord and the Lord gives us that clarity, yes, yes. we begin to filter out what was right yes. and what was wrong. Yes. But on today, the Lord wants us to know that we're not told to trust in Buddha. How many know Buddha's dead? We're not told to trust in Confucius. We're not told to trust in Muhammad. We're not told to trust in Baal. No! On today, church, let me tell you, we're not told to trust in the force. We're not told to trust in Tears Russell. We're not even told to trust in Jim Jones. We're not told to trust in God. We're not told to trust in the spirit of the force. Because if you call on them on today, they're all dead. They can't answer you. But how many know the Lord is higher than the Lord? And how many know his strength is this And that's all the reason to trust in Jesus. But why I'm asking so many questions today, let me ask you another reason. Why else do I trust in him? He didn't make it on time. He didn't say what he said he was going to do. He took family members away because he's God. He can do what he wants to do, what he wants to do, how he wants to do it. With or without your permission, he's still a gracious God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He trusted God too much. And sometimes we only see the faults of why he didn't do what he do because we get with some folks that don't believe in God. And they begin to sink into you. And then you began to find yourself saying some real messed up stuff. Yes. Yeah. But how many know God is still worthy? Yeah. Yeah. Even if he took mom of them, some people are mothers. Yeah. Even if he took father, sisters and brothers, he's still a worthy God. Yeah. Because his word still lives. Yeah. And I believe the motherboard will help me here. His word still works. Yes. Oh, yes. All right. He's a wonderful, glory, working glory. God. Yes. And because he's God all by himself, that's another reason to trust him. Yes. Well, we go on and we talk about this passage, and sometimes people get confused because you can read it so quickly, and you don't know who the me referring to. Does that mean me individually? Who does the me mean? And so I like to go back and talk about who the me means God. Oh, yes. Trust in me. That doesn't mean trust in your mom and your dad. It doesn't mean trust in your relationship. That means trust in Jesus. Yes. Yes. That's really important because as we have babies, we have to begin to teach them. Yes. Not what we was always told, but what's right. Yes. Because we have to have life experiences ourselves yes. in order to get it right. Yes. Because back then we wasn't young enough to understand what was being said. And so sometimes we began to only say, Mom and I'm always saying this and they saying that. They too hard on me and they tell me this and that. Yeah, they said it because that's how they was taught. But it worked back then. They served the same God back in the 60s, the 50s, the 40s. It's the same God in 2015. So something worked. What was it? It was the word. And as we look at this passage, whose name in this passage are we oftentimes, and very specifically, who are we referring to? 
the name and the verse is no other than the Lord our God. Our God. The Lord all by himself because he is Elohim. The one to all, all power yeah. belongs. He's yeah. El Shaddai, on, the Almighty God. He is Elohim, yeah. the Most High God. Above all, there is yeah. no yeah. other. Yeah. He is Elohim, the everlasting God, who is without beginning. Yeah. And I want somebody to in. He is El Roy, the God who sees all. He is Jehovah, the self-sustaining, all-sufficient one. He is Jehovah, seven out the Lord of hosts. The guardian and the helper of those who fear him. So you gotta learn to fear the Lord. He is Jehovah Jireh. Oh yes, he is your provider on today. I wish I had one witness to He provided for you. So you try and for yourself. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the healer. I know it because I tried him yesterday and he healed me of any disease, any sickness, any ailments. And on today, I'm doing my best to try to preach what he's given to me. He is Jehovah Nisi. He is the Lord, my banner. We carry a lot of banners, but I'm not the banner of Christ. The one who gives victory, I heard Minister Powell, he gives victory. I'm looking for some victorious folks over there. He gives victory, victory, victory. Now, with some of your enemies, but somebody standing here today and say, I own my enemies.
time, away from the world. I don't know about you today in time. I don't know about you going to the throne today. But I'm a witness that I trust in Jesus. And church, as I keep ready to bid you goodbye all this morning. Trust in Jesus. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Trust in Jesus. He is the resurrection and the life. Trust in Jesus. He is the word of God. Trust in Jesus. He is the 
my Jesus is. He's my source. You don't have to pay for it. He already paid the price. He is the source of your strength. He's the reason that you're here. And because God is awesome, somebody don't know what that means. Because he's great. Because he's good. Because he's marvelous. Because he loved you. He first loved you when you didn't know how to love. Jesus loved you. He loved the babies first. He keeps them. And because God is worthy to be praised on today. That's a reason to say, Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you. I trust you being able to stop the Lord today. It's a new day. I'm going to call a new day. Today is a new day. Today is a brand new day. We trust you, my God. Today is so fresh. I don't care what your title is. If you need him today, it's a new day. I'm going to trust in Jesus. I want you to throw away those secrets. I mean, trust it.